in a business model standpoint, if you want to be broke or if you want your business to fail, just tell the truth to people that want to be lied to and you'll go broke. Alex, with that being said, what you got on? I think you could look at it from so many different angles. You know, what kind of uh, setting are you in? But yeah, if you tell the truth to people that want to be lied to, they'll just push you away. What is your view on it? Like what in what setting let are get, you? Let me give you I'm trying to all right. So let me give you let me give you some starting points. All right. So if all right, so let, I'll give you a couple different examples. So let's say you're a financial advisor and then somebody come to you and be like, hey, I need a financial advisor, I want to make a lot of money. And then they yeah. want to be lied to. I got it. They, right. they want to be lied to, right? They want to be lied to, so they want you to say, Hey, I got this magic formula. And this magic formula is going to get you rich soon. And but if you tell them the truth, hey, this is going to take this is going to take a long time. You're going to have to be diligent. You're going to have to invest a lot of money and then you will make it over time. The next 20, 30 years, you will make a lot of money over time. You just lost a customer. So if you tell the truth to people that want to be lied to, let's think of let's think of construction here. So. If you. Tell somebody, case in point, they let's just say you want you want to remodel the bathroom, the living room, and the kitchen, and they they expecting you to say two dollars. But if you tell the truth and be like, hey, this this is how much stuff costs, this is how much it'll be, and you give them the top line number, the you know top line of your estimates, more likely you're going to lose them. That's why most most construction workers they give an estimate. And then every time they give an estimate, somebody be like, oh, okay, I like that price. And then when the final number comes in, it's always over what the estimate is. Because if you gave them the top line number you thought it was going to be, you wouldn't have got a customer. So people want, if you tell the truth to people that want to be lied to, you will never get a customer. So in business wise, if you tell the truth to customers that want to be lied to, there's some people that want to tell the truth. Like me, if I reach out to a contractor, the contractors that I reach out to, they know, just tell me, tell me the most damage I'm going to have to face. And then when you tell me the number, I want the top line number that you think is going to be because I don't want you to go over that number. I'm already prepared for that number. But don't lowball me a number to give me something way higher. But I'm somebody that wants the truth to be told to them. I don't, I don't think that people that work in construction or people that work anywhere that they should do a free service for me. I believe they should get paid for what the job is worth or what they charge. If that's if they say they charge this and I'm like, okay, it's a fair deal for me, I believe they should get paid every penny of it. So that's that's how it all comes out. Is you have if you plan on being in business and you tell the truth to people that plan on being lied to, you will go broke. All right, now Alice, what you got after you heard my my spiel on it? Okay, now it makes sense, especially I think with lawyers, we talked about this where um, say for like the probate thing or uh, having a will, like lawyers will just take advantage of you over and over and over. Uh, you know, they don't want to close, you know, the, the process immediately. They want to, you know, draw it out. And, you know, the same thing if you're talking to a financial advisor, they know it's going to take 20, 30 years before you get rich. So they're just going to be collecting money off of you for 20, 30 years, but they're not going to tell you when it's going to actually grow to that amount. Um. I've noticed that a lot with anything in like making money is the nice people don't win. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just the truth. It's like, you have to, you have to learn to adapt to that environment. You know, it's in, in, in any setting, it's just, it's just how it is. I mean, cause especially, I mean, and it's not like you have to be, an asshole to you don't want to be an asshole to the customer because you're going to lose them right there but in a sense you're not being completely honest with them it's the same thing but at the same time if you are honest with them you'll never get business and yeah, it's absolutely correct and most people want to be lied to we can dumb it down to another another area so let's just use social media let's just use social media as a, as a whole if you look on different social media channels, I'm talking about going across the spectrum. I mean, you see the people who have the most, the most, let's say subscribers, the most followers is selling a fantasy. I mean, just think rap music, selling a fantasy, 
pop music selling a fantasy. Uh, Mr. Beast, I love his content, but he's just selling a fantasy world. People would rather live in fantasy than the truth. And then, I mean, I'm not picking on uh, O-Rat, you know, um, Zuber and them. That guy gives you nothing but real hard, raw facts all day, every day. He's not selling you. He's not selling you a pipe dream. He says it's going to be hard work. And um, that's what our channel do. It talks about hard work, doing it, doing it, doing the work, doing the work, doing the work. Nobody will want to hear that. They want to hear there's some secret sauce out there that can get them there. And then it's a lot of channels that sell pipe dreams and then people gravitate to it. They gravitate to the channel. 99% of them never do nothing, never get nothing done because they don't talk about the work that goes into it. They just say how easy it is. And, oh, all you got to do is this. All you got to do is this. And nobody ever do, do anything because they don't know the process, how that all you have to do, what it entails. And that's that's just what it is. And and I'm we're not out here saying, oh, hey, if you want to start a business, start lying to people. I'm mm -hmm. just saying, if you have a business... And you tell the truth to people that want to be lied to, you will not have any customers. That's the reality of the game. And that's the world we're living in. People want to live in fantasy, la-la land, make-believe land, and things like that. So understand your customer, but also understand that the kind of people that you have to deal with. And again, I'm not telling people to lie to customers. I'm just pointing out the fact that in this day and age, People can't handle the truth like uh, Jack Nicholas said in that movie back in the day. You can't handle the truth because they can't. They just really can't handle the truth. They, they just, they they want some make-believe number that they believe that it's going to be. And I mean, I've seen, I've seen great contractors lose jobs because they, they tell somebody how much it's going to cost. And then a the person went to somebody who bid at a lower price, but then when it came out, after it was all net and done, it was higher than what the contractor gave that gave the actual price. And I see it all the time. And but people want to be lied to that. Oh, yeah, you can change out a whole safety system for twenty dollars. They want to be lied. <laughs> it said that because they believe that is. Oh, you can you can paint a house or you can remodel a house for under five thousand dollars and they need a gut job here and there. And then next thing you know, they got a twenty thousand dollar bill and they mad. I've seen it. Over and over and over again. And I mean, like me and you, we tell people what we go through and they want the shortcut to how to get there. And then you say it's going to be work involved. And then next thing you know, you don't hear from them again. And you're going to start seeing this now that you're getting older. Three, four, five years from now, you have friends telling you, man, I remember when you started. I wish I, I, wish I would have started when you did. But they still ain't did nothing. They still ain't did nothing this time. But then once you have that conversation, they say, I wish I started where you did. They still wait for you to tell them a shortcut how to get to where you're at. And then you don't talk to them for another five years. They still going to be talking about the first time where they wish you would have started where you did. And then next thing you know, they're 60 years old and they're struggling. And they, you know, looking for Joe Biden bailout from you to just send them money because they just don't have the gumption to do it themselves. But you got anything else on that before we wrap it up? Yeah. Um like going back to the channels and I'm not calling out any channels, but it's, it's true in like the sense where you said with like social media, like let's say with like one of the first channels that ever caught my attention um, or pages, I should say was uh, Tim Sykes. Um, you know, Tim Sykes is doing what he's doing. He's making money obviously. But when you look into like his actual channel and everything, a lot of his money is coming from his students, even though he's made millions off of his trades, he shows that he's not like, hiding it or nothing but i think the first impression you get on his page is he's traveling the world he's working from you know a mountaintop he's in a pool he's in a in an ocean you know trading stocks he's got a lambo he's got cash everywhere so those are lies like selling a fantasy like oh it's this easy and that's the first impression that brings people to his page and then he tells you Oh, you have to work your ass off. You have to sleep three hours a day. You're, you know, constantly studying, which is the truth. But then, you know, you see all the haters on his page and they just get mad at him for like telling them the truth. But that's really what it takes. And it's the same thing with Dave Ramsey, the amount of people that hate on Dave Ramsey. But Dave's, Dave Ramsey's plan works. It honestly does. Like if you follow his plan, you'll be set. And um, 
even like uh Graham Stephan, I'm a huge fan of Graham Stephan, you know, nothing bad, but it's the same thing, you know, the first impression is it's entertainment. Um, he has a nice house, you know, he's doing well. Um, but a lot of his fans, you know, Graham Stephan doesn't make the majority of his income from, uh, from investments, from real estate or stocks or whatever. It comes from YouTube. And he's also, he sheds light on that too. But yeah, it's like to make customers, I think you have to lie at first and then pull them in and then kind of just, you know, bring them along. No. Well, I'm going to say the disclaimer one more time so nobody, we're not telling people to lie to their customers. We're just talking about the type of people that's in the world yeah. today that they rather be lied to than not. And the people that's customers of this world, you need to start being embracing the reality and the truth of the world and stop believing in these fantasy land pipe dreams that's out there. I mean, I get people tell me all the time is y'all give good information, but Y'all not moving around and y'all not entertaining. I don't want to entertain. I want to educate. Right. And this world, I mean, yeah, I can pull up in the Lambo. I can pull up in the Lambo to get YouTube subscribers if that's what it takes. But why when I can just sit here and give you the absolute God honest truth and benefit you? Why do I have to need a Lambo to convince you that I know what I'm talking about? Only thing you got to do is question the information that me and Alex is providing on this channel and look it up for yourself and you'll see that we're talking absolute facts. Again, wealth is not Lamborghinis and Rolex watches. Wealth is the ability to be able to afford your lifestyle without having to work. And that's the only goal we want people to be on. We want people to have passive money. That's why it's called the passive money plan. Set success, go get it. We ain't saying... Oh, success gonna happen tomorrow. Go get it. I mean, you have to go put in the work to do it. And anybody that's successful will tell you exactly that. Anybody that's successful that actually did it off of investments and hard work and doing the work and going through the process will tell you it's work to be done. Now, if you want to make somebody rich and just want to subscribe to channels that say, oh, it's easy. Yeah, you're making it rich off of YouTube, but they're not getting rich off the investments that they're making. So with all that being said, Alex, if you don't have nothing else, we can wrap it up. And please don't lie to people just because we we was talking about it in the video. I was just trying to give you a better understanding of what kind of customers are out there in the world. Yeah, I'll make one last point um, off of what you were saying. Um, the real information comes from boring places like Anderson Business Advisors. I know we try to crack jokes on here sometimes to keep, you know, keep the mood light or whatever, but we just give information um kirby will send me webinars full of old people but i'll just listen because i know it's full of information and you know if you watch channels like say uh the new like newer graham stefan or um even i think grant cardone in a sense a lot of it is just like it's just it's entertaining it's finance related but it's not hard cold information on like uh you know tax legal tax loopholes uh, you know, assets and stuff like that. It's just, it's finances, but it's just entertainment. And as a consumer of that content, you know, you're going to be misled. So, yeah. And, and what, and what they do, I mean, they talk about the tax loopholes, but they just give you the framework, meaning you still have to go out there and do the work to understand what they're talking about. That's what yeah. you have to do. You have to do the work to understand what they're talking about. Is there tax loopholes for owning businesses and LLCs and tax loopholes for real estate? Yeah. They're not going to tell you. They, they'll give you a brief overview, but it's up to you to do the work. Again, successful people is time, determination, dedication, and continued learning. It's not, oh, I'm finished with high school. I don't have to learn nothing else, and I'm going to be rich. That's not what's happening. That's what happened with you know athletes and different things like that, movie stars and rappers and stuff like that. And you hear all the horror stories because they say, oh, I didn't know finance and I didn't know accounting. I didn't know how my money played. I didn't know how the tech code worked. Because they stopped continuing learning. That's why they rich for a minute and then they down in the dump as soon as the uh, paycheck stopped. Because they stopped continuing learning. Here we hear about continuing learning, doing the work, being successful, Staying successful. It's not about getting rich quick. It's about getting rich for sure. With all that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.